Well, my name is Andrea Crow, and my company's name is Pangea Cuisines. I do a food catering company as well as a food truck service. Well, I came up with the name of Pangea Cuisines was because I wanted to bring everything back to what it's originally for. You know, um, my great grandmother once told me, you know, if God didn't make it, why are we eating it? So, you know, that's why I came up with the name Pangea because Pangea is the name of our supercontinent before we all broke apart. So, therefore, I'm not stuck to a specific type of cuisine and I'm not stuck to a uh, specific type of um, ingredient. I mean, I started out in the restaurant business at the age of 15 and a half um, and uh, you know, working, doing dishes and cooking at a bar in and, and a local town, you know, nearby and um, started working there and I'm talking to the cook that's there all the time about food and what have you and then I progressed as I got into high school and I started working for a much more upper scale restaurant and there I started learning how and why food can actually be an art form and an elegance. My life partner, Catherine, um, and I discussed it and we de decided that maybe this is something we might want to try. So we started it real slow back in uh, 2011. We, you know, just do little things here and there, mainly for ourselves and our family and a few friends at times. And, um, you know, a couple of the gyms that we uh, frequented, they were like, you know, can you put together like a buffet line for us? Okay, fine, you know, I'm sure, you know, throw me a few bucks to do that. Sure, no problem, you know. And boom, Pangea. It just took off like that. I mean, it's simplest story and everything was just accidental and was definitely a roller coaster. So, and then I was told by my brother that a buddy of his had a, an old bread truck from Hostess that he's been trying to unload and he just wants to get rid of it. So I was like, oh my goodness, okay, um, yeah, I guess I could use it. And I spent the next year repairing this and fixing that and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, gutted out the whole inside of all the old bread racks and everything in there. And um, my brother's like, why don't we just make it a food truck? Me and my brother just started building it, and then next thing you know, we were needing an investor and needing a business plan and needing to have, you know, real bank accounts. At one point, it was, you know, sitting around with a few friends and a few people and just saying, I wonder if, and now all of a sudden, here it is and I have a food truck and I have a catering business. With the catering part of it, and you know, it's home service, cocktail parties, barbecues, um, doing events here at the VFW, um, all different sizes, all different types, everything that you can think of. People are just different, you know, and they, they like to have fun, you know. Um, I've done things like uh, a meatball party where we had 15 different types of meatballs. And they could dress it any way they wanted with, you know, five different types of noodles and bread and all different things. I believe that every single meal should be something that you remember. It shouldn't be something that, oh, I gotta go have dinner. It, it's gotta be like, I can't wait to have dinner. I, I can't wait to have lunch. I can't wait to see what's going to be next. When it comes to the boot truck, I found that that's more fun and definitely a lot more exciting. Um, people come up with fantastic concepts, like a, I have a wedding coming out of my truck. I'm a person that likes to present, you know, um, I believe you eat with your eyes first, nose second, mouth last. So when you're cooking, that's how you have to cook. It, it comes from a passion of art, taste, and elegance. I, I served during Desert Storm, Desert Defend, and I was uh, a military police officer. And uh, I got out on Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Um, so it wasn't by choice. I did plan on becoming a career soldier and uh, just didn't work out that way. Um, my grandfather was a member here at the Medway VFW. And when I had enlisted and I had first gone over, I had filled out my, my VFW form. I got back in touch with the post, 
started coming back to meetings and um, really getting back down to, you know, what it's like to have camaraderie with other people who have served. And I always believed that giving back to your community, um, it starts here. We should all be able to give back to each other somehow because doing that actually makes the world a little better.